Hey guys, it's Megan and I wanted to start off this video just apologizing for my short hiatus. I go into it a little bit in my previous video, but essentially senior year has just been so hectic and I didn't want to just upload for the sake of uploading. So now that I've caught up with work at school and extracurriculars and submitted some of my college apps, I can go back hopefully to a more regular uploading schedule. Anyways, like I just mentioned, I've been applying to college recently and a question that I often get because I'm applying to 25 schools is just how I get ideas and inspiration for for my essays and so in this video I wanted to go over some strategies and tips and tricks that I've used to just garner ideas and finish all of my college essays. So without further ado, let's just get started. The first thing I would say, and it sounds really really obvious, but I'm guilty of this too and it really shows throughout your essays a lot of the time is to not procrastinate. This was what happened with my MIT application. There were around 10 supplemental questions and about five of them I had written beforehand in the weeks and months prior to the deadline day and the other half I literally wrote within the span of like four hours and it was so stressful and I felt like I was being boxed by this pressure to complete it in time and I just didn't have time to review other aspects of my application and there was just so much going on and so I felt like I couldn't write to the best of my ability just because I had everything else looming over my head. Also just outside of time management is that if you spend some time beforehand, if you just read the questions beforehand and you kind of sit on them, that really helps you brainstorm. In my experience, a lot of the supplemental questions give you a lot of liberty to respond to them. And so you can just be so overwhelmed with all the possibilities that you could possibly write about. So for example, one of the Notre Dame questions is what brings you joy? You could talk about a lot of things that could possibly make you happy. So what I did was I read the question beforehand and I just kind of lived about my life. And when I felt happy, I was like, huh, I could write about this, you know? I think being able to just live out my life normally and experience these emotions in authentic matter and then use that as a response made my essays a lot stronger instead of trying to sit there at the last minute trying to extract some kind of memory. Obviously, don't go read the question beforehand and then try to seek out an experience just to craft a response to that question. But in my experience, reading the questions beforehand and letting it simmer is the best method that I found to get ideas from. Most of my ideas just come in the heat of the moment, never actually from just sitting there and writing them. I know that's a little weird, but trust me, it works. The next tip I would give is to not try to force yourself into being intellectual or quirky. I feel like that just comes off really inauthentic, especially because a lot of us are applying to elite institutions. We feel like we have to prove something. And so we do that by using just super overly complicated vocabulary. And it just doesn't sound human almost. And having that pressure of being someone who you really aren't is really going to stunt you while you're trying to write just because you always have to shift your thinking, not in the way that you would normally think, but in a way that you think schools would like you to think. And honestly, again, maybe it works for some people. It hasn't really worked for me. I just felt the best just uh, being myself, kind of cliche. But um, obviously you want to filter out some of your thoughts, but that's proofreading, not just trying to be some kind of Einstein when you're not. The next thing that really helped me write good essays was to write like shit the first time around. I feel like, again, a lot of the time, because people know that this is for college and is super important, they get stuck trying to write the perfect sentence the first time around. And honestly, for me, it helps to have a whole, maybe imperfect picture of the essay first and then go back and fix it, then just to try to craft perfect puzzle pieces to attach to each other, not knowing if it would actually fit nicely or complement each other well. So what I'll do sometimes is I'll get voice memos and start actually speaking my response out loud instead of typing it. I feel like if you're typing on your laptop, you're more inclined and more able just to go back and delete pieces here and there, whereas if you're on a voice memo app, then it is a little harder. I would recommend using an app that actually transcribes what you're saying. So on iOS and on Android, there's Otter, and I'm pretty sure Google Docs and Word have the same function as well, just so you can copy paste key ideas back into your essay once you actually go to type it. Also, I forgot another app that has really helped me is called The Most Dangerous Writing App. And how it works is that you'll set a timer for yourself. So for example, five minutes, and within those five minutes, you have to carry on typing. You can't stop and pause and think, or else you'll lose your progress. And having that premise sometimes, again, really just pushes you to just continue writing 
and write whatever you think instead of pausing here and there just to make sure that everything is perfect because it's probably not going to be perfect the first time around. Next tip is to try to write with other people or change your environment. Now I know this is difficult with COVID but what I've done is just set up FaceTime calls with my friends and we will just have college app writing sessions. Nerdy, I know, but it really helps to have someone there. Maybe not to just only look over your stuff but for me, it's kind of an implicit reminder that someone is watching me and supervising me and I need to be productive because sometimes I'll be writing college essays and then getting distracted, going on my phone, scrolling down TikTok, and then I just lose my creative juices. If I really push myself to work and have someone there, it is a huge help. Also, working outside of my regular workspace has helped with my productivity and creativity as well. While my workspace is an old faithful, sometimes when I feel stuck, I'll go to the local Starbucks, of course, socially distanced, masked, and sanitized and everything, but just having that change in scenery and being able to watch different things go by, like the traffic or just little conversations here and there can spark an idea. Now, the next piece of advice I'm gonna give, I feel like is a little bit unconventional, but has really helped me write my college essays, especially the ones where they ask you why college or why major, is to do my interview for the school before I actually write their essays because that way I can get more authentic insight from someone who's actually gone to the institution outside of just, you know, basic advertising that I can see on the website. Not saying that researching on the college's website is just unhelpful, it really, really helps but just having that added layer of personal insight from someone who's gone to the institution has really helped me bolster some of my why college or why major essays. The next strategy that really helped me was to ask my friends how they felt about me. This is what my school did for our counselor recommendations where they sent in a form that they had our parents fill out and they asked questions like, what is your child's best traits? What is your child's most defining memory? or what is your child's dreams, aspirations, and what is your child most devoted to. Now, if you're me and probably every other teenager ever, then your parents probably don't know a lot about you. But what has really helped is asking my friends and asking for their input for those questions because they can give you not only a more nuanced take but probably a less overly critical take of yourself. At least that was the result in my case because I am my biggest critic. So having other people give input on how amazing of a person I am <laughs> really helped me identify factors about myself that I had really not acknowledged or just seen as normal and just kind of a given before. Finally, the last piece of advice I would give in order to stimulate your creativity and inspiration for writing essays is actually not to read too many example essays. Now, I'm not saying to read any at all. They were really helpful for me to garner an idea of how I should approach certain questions and in brainstorming certain topics, but I felt like the more examples I read on Reddit or a college essay guy, I kind of lost my own individuality and I would write certain things and kind of almost unknowingly plagiarized just because I had almost memorized these essays by the amount of times I had read them over and over again. And that's something that you really don't want to happen. You don't want to, out of reading all these essays, just lose your individuality and your creativity. So more recently, I've limited myself to only reading one example per supplemental topic so I can get a gauge of what I should write about, but not lead myself to a point where I'm almost mimicking another person's voice just because I had familiarized myself a little bit too well with their essays. I feel like reading that extra room for you to wonder and explore the question instead of just filling that gap by reading other example essays from other people is what is going to help you become more creative and more personalized to your individual voice when it comes to writing your college essays. And that's it for me today and all the advice I have to give when it comes to brainstorming and being more creative in your college essays. These were just the approaches that through trial and error really helped me get through my early decision round. So I hope this was helpful. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video.